We are looking at these storms, uh, seeing if they want to continue here through the weekend. Right now, it's the big concern is up in Palm Beach County, and this is a severe thunderstorm warning uh, that was just issued for this storm right along 95. The warning actually goes a little bit in Broward County, just north of Deerfield Beach. Strong gusty wind with this. The concern, though, is that these showers and storms are actually starting to work their way south and likely to do that as this thin green band here, that's outflow from these previous storms up to the north, is now triggering more showers and storms across the area. Likely this will continue. Uh, the potential Potential is there for these to dump a lot of rain and have gusty wind, maybe even be strong or severe. Right now, Deerfield Beach is getting this rain, but that severe storm remains up in Palm Beach County. A little more activity here around Parkland and likely down towards Coral Springs, Coconut Creek, Pompano Beach. That'll be the next place for these showers to develop. I want to see how they, if they, if they intensify and uh, the potential is there for them to go right over the same area. And this was areas that had a flood advisory yesterday, so flooding could be an issue along 95 Northern Broward County. Right now, the rest of the area pretty close. Clear. Just a hot, steamy and hot day today. Temperatures took a while to warm up, but once we got the sunshine now, we'll be able to trigger these showers and storms. Temperatures managed to climb into the upper 80s. Where they are right now, we'll drop into the mid 70s here overnight tonight. It's 88 in Fort Lauderdale. Miami's at 87 and Key West is at 86 degrees. Satellite radar shows the activity north now pushing south to see just how far it gets. Likely it'll push into the uh, into parts of Broward County. This is picked up by the computer forecast. This next hour, this is what we could see, but these won't be around for long. Maybe just between about five and seven. A brief downpour, gusty thunderstorm likely, especially up to the north in Broward. Then we start to see a little change. A few Spotty showers developing overnight, and that's as that uh, area of low pressure moves out, high pressure builds in again, and a more typical summertime pattern. We'll keep the storms in the forecast with the moisture around, uh, but they'll be passing through the area. They won't be pushed right up against the east coast as the wind direction changes just a bit. Hot sun passing storms Saturday and Sunday for Father's Day, and then hazy, dry, dusty air here. Saharan dust coming in from much of the Atlantic and the Caribbean. It starts Wednesday. You might see some hazy sunsets there, and nothing is expected to develop develop in the tropics with that big area of dust across the Atlantic, Caribbean, and eventually the Gulf. Father's Day weekend cookouts might have to work around a few showers and storms tonight. Early storms, sun and storms Sunday and Monday. Temperatures will be into the upper 80s and near 90 degrees here over the next few days. Southeast, 5 to 10 knots. There's two foot seas and we have hazy sunshine there in the forecast Wednesday and Thursday with temperatures above 90 degrees. Back